The image stabilization on phones these days is absolutely incredible, which begs the question, do you really need a gimbal? Or can you capture the exact same shots shooting completely handheld? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be finding out in this video. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learner Online Video, and today I've come to this incredible location in the southwest of England where I'm going to be shooting two cinematic sequences. The first is going to be shot using a gimbal, and the second is going to be shot completely handheld. I'm going to capture a good variety of shots, and at the end of this video, I'm going to edit all of this footage into two short sequences so that we can compare the results. A big thanks to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. This is where I'm going to be getting all of my music and sound effects for the final edit. Okay, now before we start shooting, let's very quickly cover the equipment that I'm using and my camera settings. I'm going to be shooting everything on the iPhone 13 Pro Max in 4K 60 frames per second, and I'm going to be using the Zhuin Crane M3 for all my gimbal shots. As always, all gear used in this video will be linked in the description below. Okay, now let's capture our first shot, and for this, I'm going to replicate a slider shot with my gimbal to reveal this location. So, this is the shot with the gimbal. It's nice and smooth, no nasty camera shake. Now let's try and replicate that exact same camera move, only this time shooting handheld. I'm going to hold my phone with two hands and I'm going to slide from right to left. Definitely harder this one, but the image stabilization is doing a really good job of keeping this shot smooth and steady. Okay, moving on, let's try a mini jib or crane shot using the gimbal. I'm going to crouch down with my camera behind this bush and then slowly start to lift my camera up, mimicking a mini jib or crane shot. Let's take a look. Not bad, nice, but is it possible handheld? Exactly the same again, I'm gonna crouch down from behind this bush and slowly start to lift my camera up, only this time shooting handheld. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm just looking back at some of this footage and I honestly can't really spot the difference between the handheld shots and the gimbal shots. So we obviously need to make this a bit more challenging and start capturing shots that are much harder without a gimbal. For this, I'm gonna use this old powder mill as my focal point, and I'm gonna slowly start to orbit around it, trying to keep it as centered as possible. To really spice things up, we could also tilt up as we're orbiting around. Let's try this with the gimbal. This is gonna be much, much easier to do because we've got this little joystick here. That's gonna allow me to very smoothly and steadily and consistently tilt up whilst I'm orbiting around the powder mill. Is this possible shooting handheld? Let's give it a crack. Again, definitely harder this one. Multiple movements happening here, orbiting and tilting up. But this phone and image stabilization is doing a pretty good job of replicating the gimbal. Now at this stage, you might be asking yourself, well, what's the point in owning a gimbal because the footage basically looks the same? And you'd be right. So let's make this even more challenging. Now, one of my go-to shots when capturing B-roll of a location is a shot nice and low to the ground pushing forward. This can work well as an establishing shot for your films and videos and gives a perspective that can really help hook your audience. So with a gimbal, this really couldn't be easier. I can get my camera nice and low to the ground and I can simply walk forwards. And we can just keep pushing forward for as long as we like. But without a gimbal, this is a much harder shot. For me to push forward with my camera low to the ground, I really need to bend my legs and back. And with uneven ground, this shot is looking pretty shaky. Okay, quick tip here for those of you that don't have a gimbal, but want to get a nice smooth shot pushing forward close to the ground. For this, I'm going to select slow motion, 120 frames per second, and use the ultra wide angle lens. I'm then going to tap and hold the screen to lock focus and exposure. Now, because we've shot in slow motion, we can now slow this footage down to 25% speed, and we still get a super smooth shot close to the ground. So there are workarounds when you don't have a gimbal and you're shooting handheld. 
Now, as with any good B-roll sequence, the music and sound effects that you use make a huge difference. Now, if you've been enjoying the short B-roll clips in this video, then the chances are that's because of the music and sound effects. Music and sound effects make a huge difference to your footage and can really help bring it to life. So for my final edits, I'm gonna head over to Epidemic Sound and search for something that I think will best suit this footage. I want something cinematic, something classy, maybe orchestral. Now, luckily, finding music on Epidemic Sound is incredibly easy. You can search by genre, mood, or theme. They've got playlists and albums to help you find exactly what you're looking for. And they also have a huge archive of sound effects. I use this all the time. Whether it's a whoosh sound effect, an explosion, or just an atmospheric sound for a B-roll sequence like I'm shooting today. They've got personal plans, commercial plans, so no more copyright strikes on your videos. And the best part is they offer a free trial to anyone that uses the link in my description. So if you're looking to bring your footage to life and make it stand out, then be sure to head over to Epidemic Sound and check out their huge archive of music and sound effects. Okay, so let's shoot a couple more shots, gimbal versus handheld, and then we'll edit all of this footage together. Now, for the majority of these shots, I've had my gimbal in either pan follow or lock mode, but this gimbal also has vortex mode, which allows you to rotate your camera a full 360 degrees. I'm going to start with my camera pushed through this window, start to rotate and then pull back. This is a nice, easy shot using the gimbal, a smooth, consistent rotation, nice and steady. Now, I doubt this move is possible handheld, but I'm certainly going to give it a go. I'm going to start with my arms crossed and camera flipped upside down. I'm then going to start to rotate my camera whilst walking backwards. Let's take a look. Yeah, nowhere near as smooth and definitely much harder to shoot handheld. Okay, one last test before we start to edit all of this footage. Let's make this extra challenging by trying to get the camera close to the water. For this, I'm going to use this river and try to capture a shot smoothly pushing forward. And with the gimbal, this is a nice, easy shot. Let's take a look. Now, let's attempt that same shot again, only this time shooting handheld. Definitely trickier and riskier this time, but we've just about got it. Let's take a look. Okay, so I now have all the footage needed to edit two short sequences. Should we just jump straight in? Let's take a look at the gimbal sequence. So what do you think? Pretty smooth, right? But how does that sequence compare to the one shot completely handheld? Let's take a look. So to answer the question, do you need a gimbal? Well, no, it's totally possible to capture nice smooth shots without one, especially if your phone has good image stabilization. But a gimbal certainly helps. It allows you to capture shots easier, safer, and without the need to bend your body into awkward and uncomfortable positions. But if you're still struggling to capture nice smooth shots, whether that's with a gimbal or shooting handheld, then don't worry because I have a ton more content on this channel that's gonna help you learn fast. You can start by watching this video here. I will see you in the next one.